The champion of Johto, Lance, has been widely renowned as one of the strongest beings in the Pokemon universe. In the original games, he was your final obstacle before the champion, and in Johto, he's become the new champion of the games. But just how strong is Lance? Today, we'll be breaking down Lance's accomplishments, as well as his teams, from showing in the anime, manga, and games. Hopefully you guys enjoy. But before we get into how strong Lance is, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Baiyi. They're a fantastic company that allows you to go online and make purchases from websites like Amazon Japan, and serve as a middleman that helps you get your hands on some awesome products from outside your country. That's right, by using Baiyi, you can buy anything from Japan. Basically how it works is Baiyi will buy your product for you, and once it arrives at their warehouse, you just pay them to ship it to you, and boom! Exclusive Japanese merchandise right to your doorstep. I've got a link down in the description to Baiyi, and if you use it to sign up, you'll get a 2000 yen coupon. That's $20 American to use on your first order when signing up with a new account. Once again, thanks so much to Baiyi for sponsoring me today with their great service. Now, on with the video. Let's start out with the beginning of Lance's career. This is actually shockingly rather unknown throughout the series. However, we do know at the very least, he had to have obtained all eight Kanto badges in order to challenge the Pokemon League to enter his spot. We also know he's a Dragon Master, and it's actually stated by Claire in the anime that Lance trained at her gym for several months to perfect his experience of Dragon types. This actually isn't even a unique experience either, as we also know he trained at Raihan's gym as well in Galar. We know this either was before becoming the champion, or after losing his title, since he was referred to as an Elite Four member rather than the champion. This would differ from examples such as Cynthia, who are commonly referred to as the champion. So we do know for a fact Lance was not currently Kanto's champion at this time. Now that we've gotten Lance's training out of the way, let's start with his accomplishments. We know Lance starts off in the games as the final Elite Four member, with his team consisting of Gyarados, two Dragonair, Aerodactyl, and Dragonite. If you're playing Let's Go, his team for this area is Seedra, Aerodactyl, Gyarados, Charizard, and Dragonite. For a Dragon Master, his team has a severe lack of dragons, which leads me to questioning how much of a Dragon Master he really is. Regardless though, his teams have a severe weakness to types such as Rock or Ice, which honestly leads me to wonder how he kept this title for so long. A Pokemon such as Lapras would do a handful of damage against the majority of his team, and even in comparison to other monotype leaders such as Steven, his Pokemon are far less threatening. His best team is the Let's Go team in my opinion. But even here, his Pokemon all only have three moves. These aren't even three good moves. They flat out only have three moves with them, all sharing Hyper Beam of all moves. Rematching Lance in Kanto does change his team at least for the better, with his team now consisting of Gyarados, Kindra, Aerodactyl, and two Dragonite, if you play Fire Red or Leaf Green. This team, while definitely an improvement, isn't exactly amazing. However, having Kindra definitely is a huge upgrade from Dragonair. I would definitely say his Let's Go team is superior in this regard, though by a substantial margin, considering now he uses Seedra, Aerodactyl, Gyarados, Charizard X, Executor, and Dragonite. Besides Seedra, which is here purely due to Let's Go locking Kindra as a possible evolution, Lance finally has a competent team. He now has a dragon that isn't weak to rock, as well as a dragon that isn't weak to ice. Even his Kindra, despite being very underwhelming, has at least some strong moves to make up for it. This is a team I could actually see Lance having worked his way through the Elite Four using. Overall, Lance's Kanto teams are extremely underwhelming. I do however want to highlight his Let's Go rematch team, as I'd view this as his strongest Kanto team. Let's Go uses a no item system anyway, so I won't hold that against Lance here when comparing to future teams for rematches, such as Black and White 2 where he has a full team of 6 with items. However, I will hold the fact that Lance has a fairly unimpressive team against him. His Pokemon just don't need Hyper Beam, and I don't know of any reason why Lance needs it in all six of his Pokemon. Other than that, his team's fairly average in my eyes. 
it felt like Lance tried to shoehorn a move of as many types as possible here. And while not all the moves are really viable, such as Mega Drain Executor Alolan, the team kind of works. I like how Lance adjusted his team as well as possible in these games for fairies, with the Iron Tail on Gyarados and Dragonite. Clefable and Wigglytuff are really the only ones he need to worry about, but it's still cool to see Lance try to patch that weakness. Overall, this team still, I would feel as weaker than Lance's other rematch teams besides Fire Red and Leaf Green, but it's definitely at least passable to become a 4th Elite 4 member. In the Johto games, we know for a fact at one point he had to have challenged and beaten the champion of the Johto slash Kanto Elite Four. Seeing as Lance was once the champion of Johto, we know at the very least he was able to win that title with his very underleveled Dragonites. His team for this adventure was three Dragonite, Gyarados, Aerodactyl, and Charizard. If you bring a strong rock type, this honestly should be a breeze. Lance doesn't even attempt to try to have synergy here with new dragons such as Kindra, which would have helped him immensely. However, at least his dragon weakness isn't a big concern yet due to the lack of viable dragon attacks besides Outrage. This team stays the same in Heart Gold and Soul Silver with just better moves on his Pokemon. However, for the rematch, his new team consists of Salamence, Gyarados, Garchomp, Altaria, Charizard, and Dragonite. His team has currently the most number of dragons for any of his individual teams thus far, with a total of four dragons. His movesets are actually pretty strong on these Pokemon as well, which helps this actually be his first truly viable team in my opinion. While I don't think his first team was worthy of a champion slot, I do think this current team would be more than worthy. Analyzing his rematch a bit closer, we can find that Lance has started to learn how to use items properly on more than just his ace. He actually brings a rest Salamence with a Lumberry, which is actually a smart combination. I wish the game gave him a Chesto Berry, however, as the Lumberry could end up becoming used way too early on a Thunder Wave or Will-O-Wisp, which rest was going to heal anyway. We also see Lance utilizing setup on his Pokemon, which is honestly a huge deal. Prior to this battle, Lance has only brought setup twice ever, being in red and blue with agility and barrier, as well as in Fire Red and Leaf Green's rematch where he brings Dragon Dance. Lance doesn't just settle for Dragon Dance on his Gyarados, however, as he also brings Swords Dance on his Garchomp, which turns it into an offensive powerhouse. Probably my favorite thing about this is just how Garchomp ends up truly being here, due to Tyranitar. Tyranitar was easily the strongest rock type possible in this region, and having Garchomp is basically a strong out when fighting it. Having Sandvel helps Garchomp evade moves easier, as well as its ground typing, giving Lance a strong rock resistance, which he desperately has needed for several battles now. For Kanto and Johto, it's very hard to argue against Lance's best team being his Heart Gold Soul Silver rematch team. And it may even be one of the strongest champion teams besides Cynthia and Raihans in the entire games. We also know that Lance has won the Pokemon World Tournament. This was specifically known thanks to the anime. Which while we don't know his team in the anime for this battle, we do know his team in the games. His team here finally has all dragons, consisting of Dragonite, Salamence, Kindra, Hydreigon, Haxorus, and Flygon. There was an online tournament you could download as well with Lance, where you would take on Haxorus, Hydreigon, and Dragonite. Overall, I think this definitely is as strong as Lance's team gets. He has options like Kindra and Flygon to help better patch general weaknesses the dragon, as well as strong item and move combinations. It's also the only point in any media for Pokemon where Lance actually uses only dragon types. For his Pokemon World Tournament team, we see Lance actually utilized some strong combinations of moves and items as well. For example, he has a Power Herb Flygon with Solar Beam to help against potential water types that may carry Ice Beam, as it's a very common coverage option for waters. We also see things such as Scope Lens Kindra, which is very helpful if it ends up being Sniper. Choice Scarf Haxorus was useful as well. However, I think my only gripe of Lance's team here is none of the dragons use Dragon Dance to try to set up. In past teams, such as his Heart Gold Soul Silver rematch team, Lance has set up on his Pokemon such as Garchomp. Yet, despite having four dragons with Dragon Dance, he fails to even bring it once. This is honestly the only underwhelming portion of his team here. But otherwise, his team is actually pretty stellar. 
I still feel, despite this team being basically only offensive moves, I still feel the synergy supports itself much better overall in comparison to let's say, Lance's Heart Gold Soul Silver team, despite being more overlapping roles. The items help Lance have more outs to potential things such as Focus Sash Dragon Knight helping against faster Pokemon, or Haxorus becoming a strong late game cleaner for Lance. I'll take this time quickly to point out, but Lance was also an Elite Four member in both Pokemon stadiums. His teams honestly are truly horrible here, with his Stadium 1 team lacking even his Dragonite. His Stadium 1 team ends up being Gyarados, Dragonair, Aerodactyl, Lapras, Charizard, and Kangaskhan with his round 2 team swapping Gyarados, Dragonair, and Aerodactyl for Arcanine, Snorlax, and Electabuzz. These two teams are honestly not even worth discussing. However, at least his Stadium 2 team shows improvements to a certain extent. His first team was Dragonite, Tyranitar, Charizard, Aerodactyl, Steelix, and Gyarados, with the rematch swapping Charizard, Steelix, and Gyarados for Aerodactyl, Feraligatr, and Kangaskhan. These teams are pretty terrible, even for stadium standards. And I couldn't imagine a world where Lance actually made any accomplishments here, despite being the 4th Elite Four member. Let's quickly go over the anime, because we do have a couple things to breeze over here. Lance has two Pokemon across any forms of the anime, with Dragonite being confirmed in every adaptation, as well as Gyarados, which he caught in the Johto anime and used in Journeys. Speaking of Journeys, Lance was actually shown to be the runner-up in the World Coronation Series Tournament. Leon fought Lance in the finals, but he sadly lost that battle. I already mentioned when talking about Unova that Lance won the World Tournament, but this was actually confirmed in the same episode of the anime. As far as the manga goes, Lance seems to be more of a villain in this series actually. He's aiming to take out the entire human race, barring a few who are shown to be kind to Pokemon, and was even blessed by Viridian Forest to communicate with Pokemon. He's still the leader of the Elite Four here, but overall, we see Lance mostly losing whether to other Pokemon or to Yellow. Lance is shown to have a Dragonite, Gyarados, two Dragonair, Aerodactyl, Tyranitar, as well as a horde of Dragonair and Aerodactyl, which were led by another Dragonite. Lance also tried taking control of Lugia in the manga, however this failed on multiple occasions. He finally at one point had a horsey, but it's unclear where this ended up, as we've only seen this in a flashback with Lance and Claire as children. In Pocket Monsters Heart Gold Soul Silver, Joe's Big Adventure, Lance also has a Charizard, however this isn't shown in the Pokemon Adventure storyline. Overall, Lance is definitely not the most prevalent of champions. He definitely sticks more to the background, rarely doing anything of note for us to see. We don't actually see many times where Lance has won a battle. Rather, we just hear about it, as opposed to champions such as Cynthia or Leon. We don't really actually see too strong of a showing from Lance in any form of media, and his teams are fairly lackluster in comparison to them as well. While I don't really doubt that Lance is a strong champion, I do think he definitely is actually one of the weaker champions we've ever seen in the games. While not as weak as a champion such as Wallace, Lance's only showings outside of the Pokemon League all come from the anime. Even still, the fact his second best showing is that he was the runner-up to Leon means he definitely isn't the strongest champion. However, I definitely would say he's someone you should look out for on your journey. Well, that wraps up my analysis on how strong I think Lance is. Lance is one of the more lackluster champions we've seen, but I hope we see more of him actually performing well soon. Let me know what you think of Lance though in the comments below, and also let me know what trainer you would like to see me cover next. Hey, welcome to my new outro. A big thank you to everyone for watching the video. I want to give a huge thanks to my phenomenal team, and for the amazing art done each week by Danny the Demon. I couldn't do all this without them. If y'all enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Be sure to leave a comment too, it really helps us out. I have a brand new TikTok for Mystic Umbreon, and I've got a goal to get 10k followers over there. If we can hit that goal, I'm going to pick a random video suggested to me by you guys and do it, so go over there and leave a follow. Also over on Mystic Sage, we've still got two videos going up every weekend. We've got content from My Hero, to Demon Slayer, to Dragon Ball, so come and check it out and also check out Mystic Sage on TikTok. Finally, I've got an Amazon store where I sell tons of cool stuff. I think I'm gonna wrap this up though. I'm Mystic Umbreon, and I'll see you next time with some more amazing Pokemon content.